Hey, what's up everyone? It's Dolph back. Today I'm gonna give you five reasons why I ride the Unicycle cycle and more. So I'm gonna get straight into it. My first reason why I ride a unicycle is because it gives the smile to the people. As soon as I'm on my unicycle, I have a hard time to not smile my myself. For sure, everyone have some bad day and it's harder to smile sometimes, but it make me smile inside and this is really important. I think this is really beneficial for the mental health on the positivism. So yeah, you see uh, old people, they're gonna have the smile, uh, homeless people, they're gonna have the smile, uh, children, all the type. And it don't do that much noise too, so yeah, it's pretty nice for that. And the reason number two, to keep myself in shape, uh, the unicycle is a really good exercise and it's good for your posture if you want to have a straight back and be, have a strong core muscle uh, it's pretty good to do unicycle it help your balance overall and the way you move to keep your balance and i think this is really important in many activity in your life mostly the posture like i pass a lot of hour gaming on a chair and shit like that so if I don't do unicycle, I'm a, I'm a game like that. But uh, doing a lot of unicycle helped me a lot with the posture. Seriously, I think uh, it's a really good thing. And you don't even think about it when you do it. But after a, a while, you realize that it's real, man. So yeah, the, the thing about the unicycle too is that if you're going to do 15 to 20 minute jogging, you're going to maybe have pain in your knees. Like it's not for everyone, but some people who are not trained well enough, they're going to have pain in their knee. Like every time you, you run, your feet tap on the floor, it tap in your knees and yeah, it can create some injury to the long term, but uh, when you pedal on a unicycle, there's no it on the floor, but your your leg are still doing the movement, almost like walking, and doing some small, uh, yeah, so doing some run like that. So, the third point, the ecology, man. Uh, I like to go buy my stuff at the start with the with at the store with the unicycle. Because it's just easy to carry around, man. I just go with my dog at the store. Uh, I put my dog outside on the bike rack. And I go inside with my unicycle in one hand. And in the other, I just... Yeah, I have a backpack. And when I'm done, I just put the stuff in my backpack and in my hand. And I come back with the unicycle with two bags in my hand and the backpack. Yeah, I, I really like that. So you see, I think it's a really good training. But don't exceed the... Uh, 30 pound in each end and 30 pound in your back. I think over that it's extreme and you better you better be like uh, almost a uh, athlete to do that. But uh, under that uh, a semi athlete can reach that. If you're you better to start with small weight and then go higher. You start with just a bit of weight in your backpack, then you add a bit on two end and then you raise them the three at the same. You you, you don't want to put uh, like 30 pounds in one end and 5 pounds in the other and try to balance yourself like that. I feel like it's wrong. So I always try to do to have a good balance uh, between your both arm and the back. I feel like having the back back to, to like have the, the weight in the middle help to put the weight all more in the center instead of on the side. So if, if something happens and you lose the balance a bit, it's not going to be too much on one side. So yeah. I think this part is pretty nice. So the unicycle improved the mental mental health. It, it people say that it's pretty good to keep your focus and concentration, and this reduce anxiety. I'm not a dude who do that much anxiety, and it's probably because I do a lot of things that require a lot of focus, like. Um, when I do gaming, I'm a work colleague, so when I start working, I, I'm focused inside. And same for when I do unicycle, it's when you do bikes, sometimes you can lose uh, 
you stop thinking and you on you can almost get into a car like if you just ride a bike every day one day you're gonna r ride your bike without thinking and there's gonna be a, a car straight on, on the the place where the bike are supposed to roll and you have good chance to hit it just because you ride your bike every day and one day you're like oh i have to reach work and there's a car at the wrong place and yeah man so in the unicycle you need to keep your focus the whole time and uh, you cannot really do that type of mistake you're there and you feel yourself you feel life and it gives you time to see like everything around you the beauty the beauty of the nature uh all the type of people you see them live when you ride really really fast with a road bike or a mountain bike yes you see the stuff around but it's uh when you have a really good physical you're gonna ride so fast that uh, you don't really see what's around it's almost like a car so yeah like i say it can improve the brain function i must say what they say in the, in the internet unicycling require a lot of focus and concentration which can help improve your brain function it can help improve your memory attention span and cognitive ability this is what they say all right don't come for me but i can say this is true i i feel like my memory is improving and all those things for sure i had to work on myself and go and go think about my past and all that stuff it was a whole process to get a good memory but i always thought i had a bad one and now at 30 years old i'm at, i'm like i'm my max like i never felt like i had that much memory seriously uh unicycle improve creativity there's always something new like uh, when you ride unicycle sometimes you, you just want to add more into it oh i i see a trail over there it looks fun to go there and then you go and you you try it maybe it don't work but you tried and this is a uh, creativity i want to to ride my dog i want to try to ride with my dog uh, i want to try to roll backward or just jump stairs so yeah it's creativity for sure uh people say that unicycle improve confidence when you manage to ride the unicycle there is not many people that can do it around you so just the fact to master that skill gonna give you self-confidence and people are gonna say hey good nice go on and it's gonna help you a lot and it's good for the the confidence of the other because they see someone trying really hard and it gives them a boost for their data or like okay i can do something hard too you see what i mean it's a bit like uh when i see someone in a wheelchair doing a long distance i'm like hey this dude is strong man i i man this dude is, is inspiring me and it's the same for the people who look at you when you do unicycle it can inspire the people and this is pretty nice uh, seriously i love it oh and another insane reason for some race of dog the unicycle is gonna be the perfect speed to take them out if you walk is too slow if you're on a bike it's too fast but but a bull mastiff like that or an american bulldog that type of race that don't run that much fast uh if you just do them uh, s slow running with the unicycle it's just perfect for their heel overall you see some type of dog gonna re run really really quick so they, they're not gonna be the same speed of the unicycle but still it's pretty nice because you have two hands and it's way easier to control a, a dog with two hands than with a bike if you do some bike ride with a dog like that and like you don't have that much place for the leash or you can attach the dog on the back of your bike but your dog need to be a really good dog and 
I'm gonna take the example, the other night I was coming back from a, a fire with friend on the side of the river and I, I, I was with my bike like uh, just I had a good time it was such a clean run my dog was doing good and shit but it was around 11 p.m. I was not even like thinking about the fact that there's probably someone who have a dog with no leash somewhere so I pass in front of the yard there's two dogs that get out of the yard. There was one dog with a leash, so he, he was on the leash and I was barking at us. And the other dog ran into the bike straight up on the side of the bike. So I was with my Dutch Schiffer, a dog that I just saved like two months ago and I have an aggressive problem. So guess what, man? I, I just hurt myself like the bike, pop, 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 man. Just because that other dog had no leash, so yeah, I, I did not put some action on the guy because I'm not a softy, you know, like I if something happened to my dog, I just hope the people will comprehend too, but uh, it, it's the dude fault. Your, your dog is not supposed to, to bark at someone and reach it like that when he is riding a bike in the street and like if there was a car, the dog was dead and yeah, it was really uh, bad. But with the unicycle at that moment, I just had to get off it. It's really easy, you know, a bike, you need, you need to get off and uh, you can hurt yourself. But with the unicycle, I would just like let it be behind me and uh, then I will probably just kick the other dog away or something like that. Because it, it's kind of what happened. The dog was just there coming to my dog like that and like I had to pull it off. So at, at certain point, I kick and... Uh, the dog got, got scared, so he was staying at good distance. There, there was no real dog fight, but I, uh, I got scared on the fact that I was maybe going to lose my dog because if my dog was biting it, the other dog it was probably going to. It was the same size of dog, but I was clearly seeing that the other dog was kind of old and he was just not there in the fight and. If there is a dog fight, I, I'm gonna help my dog. Like, if a dog is attacking me, I'm gonna help my dog, man. Like, if my dog is defending me, I'm gonna help him. Like, it just, yeah. So, yeah. It the unicycle, it's kind of great to go in. Um, you do some downhill into the forest or in the the a bit of sand. You see what I mean? Um, and not some big ill, just some small ill, man, it feel really good. And I've seen in some videos, some people even have some break for the unicycle that they keep in their hands. And uh, it, the wire go to the, the wheel like that and you can move it like that. It's not like a steering. It's just a brake that you keep in your hand like that. And Yeah, but uh, I, I tried and uh, when you, you go down a hill, if the hill is not too big, man, it's just a lot of adrenaline and fun. And uh, yeah, man, if something happens, uh, you don't really hurt yourself like a bike. Uh, I feel like it's way more secure. And yeah, so uh, on the unicycle, I would recommend to use a helmet mostly if you're around some car. I don't really use a helmet seriously because I take a huge care of where I stand in the street and I stay away from the car that are moving fast. If I was rolling a lot on some street that I, I, think, I think are unsafe because some car driver just don't know how to drive, well, then I would be wearing a helmet. But in the everyday life, you, you like someone who rides in a cycle supposed to, to know how to fall a bit. Yeah. Like the when you try to climb on it, you fall and shit like that. And it's made for the type of people who who like to fall. So you use it to fall. You're not gonna hurt your head everywhere. Uh, well, you know when you fall, you protect your head. It just make like that. So the the protection that I recommend the most is the glove and the knee pad with the the that the knee pad that do all this. So you don't hurt your knee and and those uh, part of the legs. So yeah, maybe I missed something. If I do more video on the subject, I'm gonna do more. But I feel like the time of this video is just 
it's just good. So peace out.